Hello, good morning, happy Monday. This week, I'm expanding on what I talked about last week when I said that I don't make New Year's resolutions anymore and at the beginning of a new year, I have a word of the year, potentially a word of the month, even a word of a week sometimes. I'll go into more detail with that. But why, instead of New Year's resolutions, I make universal lists. I make a list of the things I want to call in and I ask the universe for them every single year and it works. And I want to take you through what I do, why I do it, how I do it, so that from now on, you can also write yourself a universe list and you can call into your life really easily the things that you want and you can prove to yourself that even if you're not actively manifesting or you feel you don't know how to or can't do it, this is the proof that you do every single moment. So I'm going to take you through that today. So why don't I make, let's build on last week, why don't I make New Year's resolutions? The main reason I don't use New Year's resolutions or make New Year's resolutions anymore is because they make me feel rubbish, quite frankly. Let's be honest about it, right? We all get to January, which is where we are right now in a new year, brand new year, blank page, new chapter of our life ahead of us, and we decide that we're going to make a New Year's resolution. And so we say things like, um, I'm going to lose £10 this year, I am not going to bite my nails, I'm going to feel better about myself, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, I'm going to stop drinking, I'm going to eat more healthily, I'm going to you know, go to the gym more often, all of those really superficial things that everybody says for New Year's resolutions. By February, March, you realise that you've broken all of them, that you haven't been able to stick to anything you've said you want to stick to, and you just feel a bit crappy, basically, because you realise that for another year, for another time, you've broken your resolution, you haven't been able to stick to your plan, you haven't lost five, ten pounds, you haven't been to the gym more, you might have bought your membership, but you're now wasting that hundred dollars every month because you, you've only been twice. Um, and so instead of the resolution making you feel good, it makes you feel that you can't do anything right and that all the things that you said you were going to do, you haven't done, and so you feel like a failure. And that is basically why I don't make New Year's resolutions anymore. They don't work. And they just make me feel worse than they did before I make them. So what I do instead, as I said last week, is I have a word of the year. And I embody that word throughout the entire year. And if you want to go and watch that video, I will link it below for you. So you can have a bit of a more in-depth look at word of the years and how I formulate my word of the year and what it means for me. But what I also do is... On the 1st of January, every single year, I write myself a universe list for the coming year. Now, I know it's not the 1st of January. I know we are already, you know, midway through January, but I don't think it matters when you do it. I choose to do it on the 1st just because it allows me to look back at the year that's been and look at what I achieved and what I wanted and the manifestations that I have brought into my life without even realising it. But I, I feel as though as long as you do it sometime within the first couple of weeks of January, it doesn't actually matter. You could even do this practice twice a year. You could do it, say, in January and then again in June, July. So you've got like a six month block and you can look back at it. And you can prove to yourself that you manifest and that you manifest all the time because we do, right? We all manifest. We're just, some of us are active about it. Some of us aren't. Anyway, I wanted to show you my list from January last year. And you can see here, I have on the top, first of the first 22. And this is my list. And so what I do, this is the whole process that I do, is I, I, I sit down with a pad and paper with a pen and I think about what is it that I want to achieve this year in all aspects of my life in terms of work, in terms of family, in terms of health, 
in terms of travel, abundance, luxury, and I put it down on paper. So some of the things I wrote, and here's, you know, my list, and it's a couple of pages. Um, some of the things I wrote, so Chloe was starting high school this year. She transitioned from primary school to high school. So the top of my list was Chloe enjoys high school and makes amazing new friends. Because for me, that was one of the most important pieces that had to happen in 2022. Because she was so worried about starting high school and having that transition and not being with her friends and not knowing people and not liking the school and not having any idea. She was totally out of her comfort zone. So that was my top. That was the top thing for me on my list. And then there was, um, we planned to go to the UK. COVID goes away. Uh, what else have I put? We plan another Disney holiday. Um, we changed the dining room table and chairs. So you can see that I've got travel. I've got family. I've got um, luxury items like dining room and chairs holidays, planning to go to the UK and Disney. Um, what else have I got? Liverpool win the Champions League and the Premiership. You know, that's just a want of mine. That's something I want to happen because they are a massive part of my life. Um, I get my second book published. I create new online courses. I grow my income for my family. Um, the girls and Steve are happy in their respective areas of life. We enjoy a lot of family time. I build my website. We change our car, maybe electric. Um, we get a dog slash cat to complete the family. We are all completely well and healthy. Um, what else have I put? I am happy and content with my life. Um, Hannah and Chloe both excel at school. We go on weekends away as a family at least once every three months. We love spending quality family time together. Um, I become more content with my appearance. I become healthier in my mind, soul and body. My menopause symptoms dissipate. So you can see that within my list, I encapsulate my entire life. And then what I do, obviously I've dated that 1st of January. If I go back through this list now, I wrote that last year. This is your proof. This is your proof that you manifest. Because if I look at that, Chloe likes high school. She's loving it. She's loving it. She's made some amazing new friends. She realises that she's much more settled in high school than she ever was in primary school. She's never going to be one of those people that absolutely adores going to school every day. Because she loves family time and she loves being at home, which was another thing that I put on my list. You know, we enjoy family time together as a family. Um, we plan to go to the UK. I've literally just come back. You know, you know that I went to the UK. I left on the 5th of December. I had a family holiday. COVID goes away, right? For me to be able to have that family holiday, COVID had to go away. So that's happened. It may not be completely out of our lives, but compared to where we were this time last year, you know what? It's a damn sight better. Um, we changed the dining room, room table and chairs. We did that. And if you're on my Facebook, you will have seen the table that we picked, the saga behind the table, the saga behind the chairs. And it's now there, sitting in my dining room. Um, what else? I get my book published. Well, that happened. It's on my shelf right there behind me. You all know about my book, Survivor to Thriving, which was my second book that I had published last year. Um, what else? I build my website. I did that. Um... I create more online courses. Well, they're out there. You can get them. You can get your hands on them whenever you want to. Uh, we plan another Disney holiday. Well, yeah, we're going in March. We're actually planning. We've done it. We've booked the flights. We are away for another holiday in the States to Disney. We leave on the 28th of March. Um, that's amazing. I'm so excited about that. So we get a dog or slash cat to complete the family. Well, we did have sadness happen last year. We did actually get the dog that I've always dreamed of, the dog that I've always wanted. It didn't quite work out. Um, be careful what you write down. That's 
probably something I would say about this list because this is proof that you manifest, right? I wrote, we get a dog slash cat to complete the family. What he really wanted was a dog because I've always wanted a dog and we have cats. Um, we did get a dog. It didn't go well. It didn't work out for us. And so instead, we got a new kitten, which is Bianca, who you would have met on one of my YouTube channels. So actually, all of that statement came true. We did get a dog slash cat because we had both. Um, I needed to be more specific. This is the thing, right? You ask the universe, the universe delivers. We actually ended up having both. Um, so that was a partial not great manifestation that actually turned into a good one because we've got Bianca. But you know what? That proves that literally the universe listens to everything we want. If we're not specific, it gives us you know, what we asked for. Um, I learn and grow as a person. I've done that massively this year, massively. Um, I become healthier and my mellow symptoms dissipate. Well, that's happened because I've learned to control my gut health, which in turn has led me to become healthier, which in turn has let my hormones balance, which in turn has led my menopause symptom to dissipate and I've lost some weight. So therefore, that encapsulates my health in a massive way and I've done it all holistically, without drugs, without fad diets, without all the things that I would have done in the past. So just going back through that list, if you write yourselves one of these lists and you look back at it and you tick off all the things that came true, yes, I've got some things on there that didn't happen, but 90% of this has come true. Um, you know, what's a couple of things that didn't go so well on my list? We change our car, maybe electric. We haven't, but we have talked about it. And we did make a conscious choice. We test drove some cars. We had an amazing Santa Fe <laughs> on our driveway for a couple of days while we test drove that. But we made a conscious decision to go on the holidays instead and maybe change the car this year. So it's back on my list again for this year. So watch this space this time next year in 2024. You just, you know, you never know. Um, what else didn't happen? Liverpool win the Champions League and the Premiership. Well, they didn't do either of those things. But they got to the final of the Champions League and they came second in the Premiership by one point. Like one point. So we were so close. We nearly did it. But you know what? I wouldn't imagine every single thing on my list to come true. I think that would be possibly asking too much of the universe. But 90% of the things on my list that I wrote down have happened or are happening and they're actively planned and we are in the process of doing it. That is your proof. That is your proof that you manifest all the time, all the time. And I think when you get into habits like this, making yourself a universal list like this, not only does it put you in a high energy and into a really happy state when you're writing down all the things that you want to come true for your year, but then when you come back to it and you reread it at the end of the year, like I have just done with you right now, you are able to see what you achieved in the year, what came true, what happened for you. So in the moment of life, you know, in the moment, in the day to day, you may be feeling like you haven't achieved much. You might be feeling like nothing much happened in your year. You might be so caught up in the day to day that you don't have the mind space to be grateful for things. That kind of list, that universal list that I practice every single January, that then takes me back to all the things I have to be grateful for, which is why it's a good practice to do it early on in the year. Because it shows you what you've achieved. It shows you how far you've come. It shows you what you manifested. It shows you what you have to be grateful for in your life. It gives you amazing platforms to then move forward into the next year of your life. And so instead of the New Year's resolutions, instead of getting caught up in the, I'm going to join the gym and lose 10 pounds by February, I haven't done either of those things. And now I really feel bad about myself. Write yourself a universal list instead. 
write down the things that you want to achieve and have and do and be in all areas of your life for the new year and then read it back read it back at some point at the beginning in January and let that be your proof that a lot of the things you asked for you have called in we've just gone through mine a lot of the things I asked for I called into my life last year I did it they're here they're actively done now or in the process of like the Disney holiday and the car because we're still thinking about it it's still a consideration you know let it be your proof that you do you know the universe is helping you it is on your side if you give it the specifics and tell it what you want it will help you to get them and writing it down Writing it down solidifies it. It puts it out there. It tells the universe you are serious about this. Writing it in pen shows the universe that it can't be erased now. You've put it down. You have written it. It's not in pencil. It's not able to be wiped away. It is there. It's real and it's solidified. And that is what you want. So if you get in the habit of doing this instead, you don't ever have to make another New Year's resolution again. And you prove to your mind and your body and your soul and your scepticism, if you like, that you are manifesting. And that's your proof written down on paper. Use the universe. Let it deliver to you the things that you want during this coming year. So go off now. I want you to right now go and get yourself a pen, uh, get yourself, buy yourself a brand new little notebook if you like, something pretty and lovely that you're going to want to write down in. Get yourself a pen, write the things that you want this year and go big, right? Don't just stick with the, I want my girls to get a certificate, um, you know, I want to earn another ten dollars an hour or whatever. Go big, go big, go for the Disney holiday. Go for the trip to the UK, go for the new business, go for the extra amounts of income, go big, go big and go little, do both, combine it all, really dream, really put down on paper what you want and then come back this time next year and read it and prove to yourself how much help we get from the universe, how much the universe is playing a part in our lives and how much we actually do actively achieve and call in when we work hand in hand like this together. It's really a fascinating journey. It's a wonderful thing to do. I love it. It's something I do and have done for the past three or four years now. And every year I am blown away by what I've actually managed to achieve without really thinking about it, because I don't look at that list again. I write it in January and I put it away and I only come back to it a year later. I don't keep referring to it and keep looking at it. So when I come back to it after the year, it's a total surprise what I wrote and what I've actually achieved. And it's wondrous to see. So go and do it. Get in the habit of doing that and just watch, watch the manifestations unfold. Watch the magic happen prove to yourself that it's real. Um, it's a much nicer thing than having a resolution. So that's my plea to you. Go and make yourself a universal list and then, you know, reread it in a year's time and just see how amazing you are. Um, yeah, that's it from me. I'll be back next week. Bye.